Hello everyone. This video is about how to simplify fractions with missing numerators or denominators. The first two problems we have to solve for the numerator. For the last two problems we have to solve for the denominator. Let's take a look at number one. It is six eighths equal unknown over four. So how we have to find the numerator is first we need to find the factor in the denominator. Whatever happens in the denominator also happens in the numerator and vice versa. So how do we get from 8 to 4? So 8 divided by what equals 4? 8 divided by 2 equals 4. So now we have to divide the numerator by 2. So 6 divided by 2 is 3. And here the fraction is 3 over 4. Nothing more can be simplified from this fraction. So this is our final answer. For number 2, let's look at the denominator again. How do we get from 12 to 3? 12 divided by what equals 3? This should be 4. Let's divide the numerator by 4. So 4 divided by 4 is quite easy. This is 1. And if we put the fraction together, it should be 1 third. And since the numerator is a 1, nothing more can be simplified. So one third is the final answer. Let's look at number three. So here we have to find the denominator this time. It's the same process as number one and two, except it's the opposite. We have to find the factor in the numerator. So 16 divided by what equals eight? It should be two. So now 18 divided by two, this is nine. So 8 over 9 is the fraction, but nothing more can be simplified. So this is the final answer. Let's look at number 4. So we got 15 divided by what equals 5? So 15 divided by 3 equals 5. So 21 divided by 3 is an easy one. This is 7. So the fraction is 5 over 7. Let's double check. We can't really simplify the numerator or denominator. So this is our final answer. So once again, when you're missing the numerator, try to look in the denominator and try to find a common factor. And whatever that factor is, you have to divide the numerator by that number. And you should find the missing numerator. But when you're missing the denominator, you have to find the factor in the numerator and divide that number by both sides, and then you should find the denominator.